Tea Time with Trav. There's a new song called Heartbreak Anniversary. His ex broke up with him that they just replays over and over in his mind. And it's like a heartbreak anniversary. Like he gets reminded of that day very often. What's going on, y'all? It's AO Travel. I'm back, 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 back. I'm back again. Yo, I forgot my water. It's somewhere, but I'm not about to get back up right now. I wait till I'm thirsty. Anyway, y'all already know I had to go back to Fork in the Road because this is just so good. Um, <laughs> I feel like I ain't been in like two weeks, maybe three weeks. I don't know. But anyway, let me go to take Grace and I'm tell y'all what I have. Fuck y'all to come to that day. Swatch over this food. Please have been nourishment to my body. Please have been just this food. Pop in here in my brain. Amen. Amen. One time. Boom. Amen. Y'all, so I have a Cajun shrimp Alfredo. Boom. With broccoli. I have a couple chicken tenders. I have a few more in a box over here, but they wouldn't fit all into the look. You did. And then I have Cajun shrimp and grits. You got shrimp, bacon, cheese, sausage. I think that might be it. I don't know. But, yeah. I already said grace. So now we're about to get, dig on in. I'm going to stir this up just a little bit. Because the sauce is at the bottom. The bottom. The bottom, bottom, bottom. The bottom is at the bottom. Put a shrimp on the oh. oh my wow. I love this place. How was y'all day going? Let me get my water. Boom! I got the big water today. <laughs> it's actually my water from the gym. And I ain't finished all, so. Um, my day is going well. Clearly, I went to the gym. Y'all see that? I'm gonna use this for that. Cause that's great today. But anyway, I went to the gym today, y'all. Today I ran three miles. So my body is tired. But I'm proud of myself for doing it. So, and this is my probably like three miles. It's not a lot. It is for me. Every accomplishment is a big accomplishment. I don't care. Now, both of these meals are so good. I don't know which way I want to go to. <laughs> I should have did chicken and shrimp for this. Yeah, I bet if I put my emergency in here, it'll probably be the most disgusting thing I've ever had in my life. I'm sure. Well, no. I'm sure I could name a couple places that I've been to. Oh, yeah. I'm sure I can. For real. Y'all, even their chicken tenders are big and juicy and fluffy and crunchy. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. 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 M
But that's something you never forget. Ever. If your heart was really broken before, never. But I think people struggle with moving on. You can't let that heartbreak anniversary be the day of your funeral. I'm going to explain that. What I mean by that is some people get their heart broken and they stop living. They stop living. I've seen people that get into the press state. I've been there almost cursed. <laughs> I've been there after getting my heart broken. Didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to go hang out with my friends. I didn't want to party. I didn't want to drink. I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to do that. And that's why I said, don't let that heartbreak anniversary be your death day. Because everybody dies, but not everybody lives. I know y'all heard that before. To live does not just mean you're alive. I'm alive right now. You're alive. You're watching this. But what are you doing? We are all here on borrowed time. We don't know when our expiration date is. We don't. So... If you're not out living life, you're not living. You're alive, but you're not living. You're not living life to the fullest. And that's what people get stuck on. They get their heart broken, boom. It's like a piece of them is sucked out of them. And that, that's not okay. Ooh, that ain't okay. Mm -mm. I'm not just gonna come up. Y'all know I can't see. But you know what? Forget it. Mmm. I'm, I'm up here reflecting myself. I'm not even gonna lie, y'all. <laughs> I never, and I, I feel like we've all broken somebody's heart, whether intentional or not. And I never again want to intention. I don't know if I've ever intentionally broken someone's heart. I don't know if I can say that. Like I've done stuff that was intentional, but it wasn't to break their heart, but it could have. So. I don't know. Long, I never want to break somebody's heart again, ever in life. Cause that's a bad pain. That is a real bad pain, y'all. I'm not exaggerating. Like I said, if you've been through it, you understand. Those sleepless nights, the days where you have to force yourself to get out of bed, the times you don't want to talk to anybody. But you need to talk to somebody because talking here, back here, right here, up here, it gets you nowhere because you get lost in your thoughts. And mm, it's a hard feeling to shake, y'all, because heartbreak is it, it's like a bad state similar to depression. Because they kind of go hand in hand, in a way. You know how broke? You probably won't get depressed. Or show traits or characteristics of someone who is depressed. I think that's the better way to put it. Yeah, I keep turning, trying to get comfortable in this chair, and it ain't working. Should be told because I'm sleepy. Pretty sure that's what it is. Because the gym, it did numbers on me today.
Those three miles felt like they were never ending out. Never. I go Never, 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 never. I genuinely felt like they were never ending. I'm, I kept looking down like, is the distance going to go higher? Why is he moving so slow? I have a question. Do y'all have anything similar to what he was saying? Do you have an ex that you still have things that they've given you because it still means something to you? I want to know that. I don't have nothing from any of my exes. Jack, Diddley, Squat, Stuff. Y'all know. Um, actually, no. I do. I have one. I have a pair of shoes that one of my exes bought me. But I'm only using them for the gym. Yeah, I do. But I forgot that he bought them until I just said it right now. So, <laughs> I don't be like, oh. Da, 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 da. So I definitely don't keep them because it made me think about him at all. And I don't keep them because it means something because it doesn't mean nothing. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I do have them. So I didn't want to be a liar. I have one item. It's good to hot. Jesus Christ. How long have I been filming it's still hot? Dang. On, on top of the 15 minute drive from the restaurant to the house. Then the five minute little setup period. Still got nerd behind. Part of my mouth. My tongue. My tongue. So yeah, y'all tell me if you have anything that you kept from an ex because it it still means anything important to you and what is it and why did you keep it you don't y'all don't have to go into detail about what it means to you i know that's personal if y'all want to that'll be great but i will not pressure anyone to do something i want to do because y'all personal business and i understand about people you don't know being in your personal business Mm. I was just playing a song in my head, y'all. He told the girl he missed her on her side of the bed. Let me tell y'all. If you dated somebody and y'all maybe didn't live together, but y'all spent, you know, several nights together and stuff like that, and you got used to them being. On the, like, I have a side of my bed that I don't sleep on. But somebody I'm dating would have to sleep on the side because I, I won't. So it's like you get used to them being in your bed. You're used to waking up and rolling over. Some people like cuddling, some people don't. Me, I like it until... I'm ready to get comfortable. Like real life comfortable. I'm not saying I can't get comfortable with a person. Because I can. But. When you get to stretch and all that. Then, and then also you have to. When you cuddle, You have to worry about the other person. You got to worry about if they going to wake up. If they're going to roll over. If they snoring. You know. Because if you're sleeping on your own, you're not cuddling, you can just put a pillow over your head. And you ain't got to have them snore. But, you just have to think about that. You got to think about if they musty, they shouldn't be musty in bed. But you know, some, some people don't bathe before they lay down. I do. I, I bathe every night before I get in that bed. Every night before I get in that bed. I'm blood. 
But um, you get so used to this person being there. So when it's over with, you have all this empty space. But it had become a comfort zone. A very good place of comfort. And that was gone. That's a hard pill to swallow. Very hard pill to swallow. Just think about it. You had a long day of work or a long day of whatever the case may be. Or you just want to have a fun game night or whatever. Because I'm, I'm that type of partner, y'all. And I got it from my mom. But, excuse me. If we're in the bed, we're watching TV or whatever. Excuse me. Let's play a game. Nine times out of ten, I'm going to go to phase ten. Phase ten is my joy. And we're going to sit in that bed. We're probably going to sit Indian style. Who knows? It's just fun to, you know, have that, that quality time. And then... Once again, it's all gone. <laughs> like, it's gone. You're in the bed, and you just want to cuddle, or you just want that company, but you roll over, and you're reminded that that side of the bed is empty. That ain't nothing nice. Nothing at all. I'm telling y'all. Everybody, I don't care who you are. Everybody deserves love. Not love from your friends, not love from your family. Everybody deserves that as well. Don't get me wrong. But everybody deserves that different type of love from that one person. Everybody deserves that. So when people don't have that, it's it's a little, you know, not fun. Nothing to cheer about. I'm about to sign up. I'm full. I'm pregnant. <laughs> anyway. I'm about to go ahead and siggity, 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 siggity. Sign up. If y'all have not already, check the description box below for the website, www.aotrap.com. Then get the AO sauce, the AO merch, all that. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the bell right there, boom, hit the bell right there, boom, so you can notify me each and every time I drop a video. But if you want to stay connected with the AO Trap, jump back into the description box, go down the bottom, brr, boom. Right there, normally, it seems social media. Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Y'all right now, add me, follow me, leave me a comment on Instagram, leave me a comment on Instagram, leave me a comment here, do whatever. Let me know what's like, what's don't like, what's wanna see, what's don't wanna see, what's 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 wan